my name is Christina, and today I'll be presenting uh, why we should not implement the second language into elementary curriculum. So everyone's heard of the phrase, should have, could have, would have. Well, today I'm going to tell you why we shouldn't, can't, and won't. Um, so to start off, English is a universal language, and we're talking about implementing a second language into the U.S. Uh, public school curriculum. And according to the Council on Foreign La Relations, the U.S. economy and military spread the English language across the world so that English became the, sec the global second language and de facto language of, the in of international business. Um, another reason why we should not implement the second language is because students will forget the second language. According to statistics that were taken in, on June 9th, uh, 2010, 25% uh, of elementary schools teach a foreign language. Only 10% of these schools are uh, public school. And then 44% of U.S. high school students study a foreign language. And fewer than 8% of U.S. college student undergrads study a foreign language. And fewer than 2% study abroad each year. So if they're not going to use it, uh, they're basically going to lose it. So only if only 44% are learning uh, in high school, then they, they aren't, they aren't going to continue their education. Um, another reason is foreign language comparably is not as important as the other things that the kids are learning. So uh, according to education options, uh, should foreign language options be added to the US curriculum? Health, gym, and music have been taken out of schools due to budget cuts, but there is enough budget for foreign language. Obesity is almost a household problem, yet health isn't taught in schools. So we should learn how to prioritize and put those uh, ahead of making fancy different changes. Uh, second, I mean, afterward, we will lose our heritage. Uh, according to education options, the one I just said before, uh, trying to absorb so much foreign culture into our society puts us at threat of losing our heritage. Uh, when there are already so many groups in America, uh, there's a chance that the kids will assimilate um, into different cultures and they won't absorb all they can for um, the American culture and they won't speak English. And lastly, for the shouldn't, we, um, the, it's hard for a five-year-old to learn a different language. Elementary students have too much to learn already, and they are just kids. They should be enjoying their youth and not learning such tedious things. Um, okay, on to my next point, why we cannot implement a foreign language into our curriculum. Uh, Five-year-olds are not capable of learning another language. Uh, my mom is a kindergarten teacher in the Los Angeles Unified School District, and she has kids coming into her classroom all the time, and they're usually of uh, children of immigrants, and they don't even have a stable foundation in one language. So how do you expect to teach them a, a different <coughs> language? What, how are you going to teach them that if they you can't translate it into a, a language that they don't even know? Uh, it's also difficult to find good teachers. Uh, according to Matthew J, who wrote uh, Cutting Elementary for Foreign Language, uh, he says, the problem also rarely discussed is that it's difficult to find uh, teachers who speak a foreign language well and know how to teach it effectively. Schools will compromise by hiring a teacher who isn't very good, but at least is warm and friendly and willing to promote the fiction that her stu students are on their way to fluency. And lastly, for why we cannot, uh, adding a second language is expensive. According to education op options, it is expensive to pay more teachers uh, to teach another language, obviously. So um, this is why we won't implement another language into our curriculum. It's difficult to measure. So according to education options, um, the education system is already a difficultly measured process by which many children are excluded and left to struggle. If, a, if it becomes a requirement, it will be another testable piece of the education system. And we should focus on improving our current curriculum. Instead of adding new things to the curriculum, we should um, make our kids fluent in English and want to uh, improve the literacy rate and better their math uh, scores. And 